Last time you joined us as we visited Calabash Bay, we caught a lovely Mai Maui and we anchored between 400 other boats just off Georgetown in an attempt to hunker down for the big blow that was ensuing. This week we negotiated a very shallow key and caught eight barracudas. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full-time on our new home, Sisu. We left Elizabeth, Elizabeth Harbour um, at the crack of dawn. Crack of dawn. And so it was, it was pretty dark, but we now are now negotiating all these reefs. It's not an easy thing. But look at that nice sunrise. Looks angelic. And of course, the nice colors is on the sails. And our buddy boat is there. Yeah, between the shrouds, there next to the Genoa. Also busy raising their main. And we need to negotiate all of these reefs. So we need to go through all of these rocks and reefs and this is crazy. So the moment we get through all of this, then <laughs> it's getting even more crazy. Uh, we're coming back into the reefs again between those, following those little purple line. And then here, as you can see, good light and visual navigation needed. Sheesh. And it's hawk cut. So we need to get through here. Just look at that. Just, <laughs> I'm not even sure we can do this, but yeah. So we need to go through there, through there. And look, 1.4, 1.3, 1.4, 1 1.8 is our draft. So it's, it's a very, very, very narrow channel. Anyway, we need to get through that one. And then through that 1.3s and 1.4s. And then, <laughs> I don't know, get over this bank here, which is, there's nothing nothing like a two or close by is one and 0 0.9 and things like that but we have to get over that and then we clear sort of because we we need to negotiate all of these little ones here all these little rocks here and then we're going to try and hit for little water key so we are in a sailing mode I still need to go a little bit and then like this and this you cannot see the reefs the Sun is just not right it's now also spring tide so we will have maybe a one meter lift so hopefully that one meter will get us over that 0.9 <laughs> bank um, and then yes when I come back, we need to do it again. So that is our, uh, this is ginger beer. Normally it has rum in for a dark and stormy. But that's our other Leopard 45 buddy boat. And then there's two models. One is just now going through the cut. And the cut is this. So we need to go through this little space here. And you can see it's not going to be easy so we need to go through there around here and there's a serious sandbank and then you go through there devil's devil rock and then there's a 0 0.9 over there so we need to go through there <laughs> it's going to be fun now i see that manual is going one is going this way and the other one is going that way. I'm sure you guys can see it. The leopard is on this side, the mono is just next to it and then the moss sticking out behind the island. So it seems like that little mono went through. So hopefully we will get now a report on how deep, how deep it is and what's, what's, what is the game. And I'm, I'm literally idling 
so you can see I'm idling and we're going at three knots so the current is pushing us quite a lot and just look at this you some just jumps up like that then you know you're over a rock look at that we're coming over a rock oh, 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 oh. let me put it slow down Check this. 2.5. 2.5. And that dude came sailing through there, but we learned later he's done it a couple of times. The wind just doesn't want to work out. So we've got now the main sail up. We've got the code, an unhappy code D. And then we've got the Genoa up. So we've got all the sails up. It's about six knots of wind. And the main is whacking, not good. This guy is whacking, not good. That guy is whacking. It's just not good. Not sure you can see the blue, but that blue over there, <laughs> that is like 30 meters deep. This blue hole is just off water key, you will find it on the maps, but it's pretty deep. We should have actually have put scuba gear on and we saw one shark and then eventually when we looked again after being fascinated by the other fish and we looked up here and then there was three sharks so he went and fetched his buddies and we thought this might just be a very good time to go back to Sisu We became very good friends with our buddy boat, that is Georgia Maria on Caymani, also a Leopard 45. And obviously my new found boyfriend is Buddy, the beautiful golden retriever that we used to take for a walk every day. So, washing day today on Sisu and We're going to pack and release. Looks like Pietro did it again. Second one of the day. Tired. So another one. Third one. So this is the fourth fish. Really? It's it's two hours. Oh. <laughs> Oops, there we go. Number six. We're still counting, number six. Wow. <laughs> oh, I, I made it's, it. it's going deep, so I think it's another barracuda. That is what fish number seven looks like when you look at an expression on the face. <laughs> yeah, another one. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't caught so much fish in three years. There is big rocks in front of us and a big fish behind us. What? And that is what are we sacrificing today? <laughs> And that's only our eighth one, only number eight. Just look at these two. After a hard day, uh, basically not a hard day, a fun day with eight barracudas. And then the last one we, we, we couldn't bring in. It seems like it was a bigger thing than 
we anticipated. But only this shiny skirty thinks he's still here and this one doesn't have any left. Yeah, he has a big serious gash out of the... Deep. Yeah. Yeah, I still think it was a show. I think we need new lures. <laughs> I think those are our last That's our last ones. It's really our last two. <laughs> I'm getting my walk for today. Seems like a lot of stuff we need to There's back. A very long beach around the corner here. With an old ruin on it. Or a demolished hurricane house. It used to be a farmer that lived there. And um, his house didn't survive, but he survived. They picked him up three days after the hurricane. Oh, he, was still on, he was still on the island. Shame. Must have been all right. So he was through the hurricane, Irma, on the island. So we've reached land, and we hope there's a path to the other side because that's where the big beach is. Look at these random stuff. The people put up here. Okay, and these. Oh, we found Shoe Island. We found Flip Flop Island. Univista Key is 20 miles just north of Ragged Island. So the story goes 78 year old Edward Lockhart rode out Hurricane Irma underneath a tree on the island. He was the only citizen of the island. He did not feel safe in his home because of the rising tide and that led him to seek shelter in the hills of the quay. He spent more than a day riding out Irma in the open and he was rescued only three days later and was suffering from dehydration. So we are walking on the rocks because the sand here is like gravel and our soft little baby boat feet can't handle it. So we've had a, a free foot scrap and then Fricks. I'm joining Frick in the water now on the rocks. This is, just this is why so we cannot anchor this limestone. limestone. This is just far more user friendly and these are all flat, nice and flat and they're not slippery at all so this was Edward's house looks like somebody even now and still come and sleep yet yeah. but this is the, the roof and that's the house so you can see and the goat uh, this is maybe chicken and here is the the goat house I just heard one of them I cannot run away there now I cannot see them now. They were just here. Some rum. And this looks like a fridge compressor. Oh, there's a good piece Oh, yes, a distribution box. Okay. Oh, and there's a sand there as well. And there's a drill. Over there. This looks like a sand pit where they got the water from, I think. And there's the drill. <laughs> oh, and there's batteries. Oh, maybe an inverter, yeah, solar panels. There's the other part of the roof. And here's a big braai 
Looks like it was recently used as well. Definitely not from Irma's time. And a nice view. Uh, that's a good house. Let's go find the beer. Cheers! <gasps> On a deserted we, island. A week of break <laughs> with not one complaint. Except for the feet that come this way. And this is the view. <laughs> this is so cool. So the big question is, is Stepek still there? So I can see you, Sisu. <laughs> okay, Pietro spotted the pigs. Oh, look at that. Still waiting for us. What a trail. And a serious food scrap. And that's it for this week, guys. We really, really hope you liked it. And remember to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. And a huge shout out to all our Patreons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you guys next week. Tom.